Hi all, I'm Gary. Welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you to everyone who's uh, subscribed and liked my content. Really is very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, please keep doing so. It really does help me and I'm, I'm really enjoying doing these, these videos and tutorials. It's just giving me something to do. So thank you. Keep doing it. It's brilliant. Today, what we're going to do is set up WordPress on FreeBSD. It doesn't have to be FreeBSD. You can do this on Linux or Solaris or even Windows. You can do this. It doesn't matter. If you're comfortable with downloading and unzipping tables, then like I say, it doesn't have to be FreeBSD. Um, but I'm going to do it on FreeBSD because that's what I'm comfortable with. It's what I use as my, my server platform. So without further ado, we'll, we'll jump into it. So we'll go into our terminal, as we always do. And uh, you can see that I'm logged in as um, an unprivileged user. Now, you can do this with sudo or do as, whatever your preference is. That's fine if you, if you want to do it that way. Me, I'm just going to become root. It's just easier that way. So first thing to do, we're going to install a few bits. So this will take a a few minutes. We're going to install my text editor of choice. We're going to install Nginx or Nginx, however you want to say it. We're going to install PHP 7.4. I know 8.0 has been released, but not comfortable using that yet. It's literally only just been released. So we'll, we'll stay with this. And then we're going to install WordPress. Again, like I said, all from packages. So we'll wait for this to do that. It's only a few packages to download. It won't take long. Halfway there. This is in real time, so give you an idea of how long it takes on FreeBSD. Almost downloaded. There we go. Installing. Halfway. Love it when it goes that quick. Nice. Right. So let's clear that. So first thing to do is if we go into our Nginx uh, directory and edit the Nginx config. And right at the bottom, we're going to add in just one or two bits of text, which will be one line. OK, so. We've got that. So let's create that directory because we don't have it yet. This is where all of our config files that are not the default are going to be based. So we'll CD into there. And we'll just make one that's going to be the virtual host name. So if you've got a domain name, DNS set up, maybe you've got www my domain name.com call this file that it will just make things nice and tidy for you and uh, you'll be able to keep track of, of the virtual hosts that way but for this I don't have that it's just an internal web server so we'll call it by the IP address and then I'll just copy and paste in my configuration file so let's just quickly go through that, shall we? So we're listening on port 80. There's my IP address. That's the server name. So when I type that into the web address, the server will go, oh, that's me. There's the directory that it's going to be on. And here's the PHP info to allow PHP FPM to run. And a couple of denies there. So we'll come out of there. That's that bit done. That's all we really have to do with Nginx for now. Let's go to user local etc php fpm dot d and you'll see two files here. So we want to edit the www. That's the one that is running our web server. So let's find our listen. We want to change what it's listening on. So let's scoop all that out. We don't need that. And 
we're going to do it on a, a Unix socket. So there we go. And we're also going to uncomment these three lines here. So the owner, the group, and the mode of that socket. And come out of that. That's that bit done. So next, what we want to do is just enable all of this in our rc.conf file. Just two lines. Okay, so let's start them up. Bada boom. And PHP. Bada bing. Okay, I made an error. So let's have a quick look at that. Suspect I've missed out something. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, look at that. Let's see? Tiny error. So let's start PHP FBM. There we go. Start it up. Nice. Let's clear that. So let's watch the logs to see what happens while we're doing it. So we can use tail minus F, which means minus file or supplies the file to it. Nginx, and we'll watch the error log because there shouldn't be any. And let's see what happens. Ready? Boom. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Nothing in the log. There we go. Here's our setup. Brilliant. That was nice and easy. So let's find our language. I'm in the UK. So there we go. And it's going to ask for some details. Now, I am just going to put in any old tip. Okay, and we'll go. And we'll install it. Let's see what happens. And log in. Sometimes that happens. It's a bit strange, but there we go. Yeah, let's remember it. And there we go. We are into WordPress. Let's do these updates. There's always updates. Update the plugins. And what other updates have we got? Probably language. Nope, themes. Let's update those. It's always helpful to have those on the most up to date. Boom. So let's have a quick look at what this looks like, shall we? There we go. Rubbish. <laughs> um, but of course, you've got all these themes that you can change to. So obviously, it's using the 2021 theme. Let's activate the 2022, since that's what we're in. There we go. So we can now start editing that, um, that WordPress. If you want to turn it into a, a beautiful website, I'm sure you can do that. That's how you install WordPress and get it running. Uh, I hope you find this helpful. If, uh, if you do, please give the video a like and uh, subscribe and, and click the bell notification to, to get notifications of when I release videos. It's, it really it does help me out a lot by doing that. And uh, come back for more content in the future. Take care.